guys, Steve here of the Fitness Hub, and for this shoulder warm up, what you want to do is get a pretty weak band, resistance band, and here I think it's a number one from Strength Shop. And here, what I am doing is just pulling the band apart, it's band pull apart. What I am doing is focusing on scapular retraction uh, because if you're like me, you sit at the desk all day, you're normally in quite a kyphotic position, you're normally kind of slightly rounded. So, this is kind of getting your back into pulling back the scapula into that more beneficial position so just getting that mind in the right mindset and warming it up nice and nicely on your chest and shoulders this one I then place the band behind my back retract my scapula and then do a sort of bench press motion next up you can see I'm doing band pull aparts and you can do these quite tight or uh, quite wide on the uh, resistance band as you get more used to it you can grab tighter and here with these what you want to remember is when you're pulling it apart remember when you're pulling it apart in front of you remember to pull it apart what I'm trying to get out there is don't start pulling it apart when it's behind your back but keep pulling it apart the whole way because that is the only way it's going to be really beneficial for you uh, that is a band pull apart shoulder dislocation uh, here I then put the band behind or hook it over the squat rack and I just do some sort of rowing motions uh, again retracting my scapula and really just warming up my whole back and getting a bit of a almost getting a bit of a pump getting everything mobile everything warm of course and so once I've done that I then go into doing more above head um, <clears throat> these are very similar to the face pull and again it's just warming up all the rotator cuff muscles and I actually think this is a great exercise to do even I do it at the end of my session sometimes when I get time because your rotator, rotator cuffs do not really want progressive overload, overload particularly they just want to be maintained and kept strong and then again I am doing um, external rotations with the band uh, this band is a bit strong for these but it's not too bad uh, you might need a weaker band and I've definitely used a Dyna band in the past which is more for like Pilates and things but that recently split. So I find these really beneficial, um, a lot of this is from uh, Smithy Diesel um, and I found these really useful, it's very quick, very easy and uh, it gets everything nice and warm, I especially like these and are just trying to keep it as controlled as possible but also powerful. Uh, cheers for watching guys, and I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, these bands are very cheap, so if you want to try it out, go for it. Thanks.